Camp Fan Conversion series. This is episode eight. Um, it's going to be a slightly weird one because it's the last one, really. Um, I'm just kind of finishing everything off, tidying up little jobs like soft furnishings, curtains, lights, um, edging, and bits like that. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. I'm just wiring in the lights here. I thought I'd done all the hard work. I mean, I've mostly done all the wiring hard work, but I'd cut the hole, pre-cut holes for the lights actually to slide into, just big enough for the wires to pop through, because I hadn't actually bought the lights by then. So I should have bought the lights before I cut the holes in the panel. It meant that I had to go round the, where the hole is in the ceiling with a jigsaw, which was quite difficult. So I definitely recommend buying the lights before you put the cladding up and not just putting holes to poke the wires through. You can see the three spotlights work in here. The reason why there are only three and not four is because of the shelf. If you watched episode six, you can see the shelf and the strip light underneath it. Here I'm fixing the curtain rail to the structural ducting of the van. This was a bit more difficult than I anticipated, mainly because the curtain pole bracket was wood. In the future I'd use a metal one. I'm hanging the blackout curtains here. I got them for about £15 from Amazon. Now to add some edging to the cupboard worktop. I used some black plastic 90 degree angle. I think it gives a decent finish to the worktop. I used small black tacks to attach the edging to the worktop. In the driver's footwell underneath the lining I found some rust. I think this is mainly down to the gap in the lining to see the van VIN number and a couple of small holes allowing moisture to get through. I dried out the area, sanded it down and painted it with anti-corrosion protective paint. I then added some foam underlay for sound deadening and insulation. I realised I needed to repeat the same process for under the driver's seat, so I took it out and got to it. I also took out the surrounding trim whilst I had the seat out to give it a good clean up. This is my foam mattress for the van, it will serve as a sofa bed. As my bed slides out, I needed to cut it into two pieces. I did this using a kitchen bread knife. Moving on to the next task, in the sliding door footwell I cut up a normal doormat to fit the shape of it. I then added a piece of velcro to the back so that they could be easily removed for cleaning.
As you can see from this clip, it is going back a little, as the cupboard isn't in the van, but I wanted to show you both of the doors being carpeted in the same video. It was quite a fiddly job, but I think it looks really tidy. To fill the gap in between the cladding and door, I used a small piece of plywood wrapped in carpet. Before moving on to the other door, I carpeted this small area of bare metal. I repeated the same process on this door as I did on the other door. After finishing the door, I moved on to the remaining areas of the bare metal inside the van and covered them in carpet. This piece was a little more difficult because I had to fit the interior light onto the frame of the van. As you can see from these pictures, the van is pretty much done. Look out for a full van tour coming to my channel soon. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more van and travelling content.